Thanks so much for joining us today on Community Producers. I'm Carrie Lee McDowell. The spirit of Christmas is around us at this time of year. And I'm so excited when the holidays come to us because I love giving gifts and I give gifts all year round. And of course, Christmas is perfect. I get to spend time with family and friends and loved ones and enjoy the holiday season. And I'm so happy to present my next guest to you, who has got a special Christmas project happening. Welcome, Glenn Foster. Hi, Carolee. Hi, everybody. Yeah, so Glenn, you have a very special Christmas uh, project this year. Tell us all about it. Well, I'm a musician and um, I have created a new album called The Spirit of Christmas. It's got 12 songs on it. Um, a couple of them are, are originals, some of them are uh, traditionals, and uh, I've got videos for most of the songs. Yeah, and we should mention you're, you're not just a musician, you're a guitarist, you're a vocalist. You're well known uh, to our Shaw viewers because you've been on Shaw Spotlight several times, as we know. So it's, it's really wonderful to have you back with us, Glenn. Um, tell us about this wonderful album, this brand new release um, of yours for Christmas. Well, it's kind of interesting because I had two songs. I have two songs that were recorded in 1986. One's called The Spirit of Christmas. And the other one is the 12 Guitars of Christmas. And we made up a 45 record and released it. And it really got a lot of airplay. And back then, uh, Shaw Cable TV uh, recorded uh, a video for the 12 Guitars of Christmas and uh, aired it on, on uh, you know, your station. And we had 12 guitars and everything. So it was great. So that, that was sort of where, where everything started. Mm -hmm. And then at, at the end of uh, last year, um, 2020, uh, I had been practicing like crazy and, you know, playing guitar a lot. And uh, I, I had a number of uh, arrangements of traditional uh, Christmas songs that I had never really recorded. So I, I sat down, I thought, I'm going to record these now uh, just to share with friends. And so that's what I did. I took two or three months and I just uh, recorded songs at home on my home recorder. Wonderful. And of course, there's really wonderful um, local musicians, island musicians on your recording. Do you just want to mention them? Yeah. Yes. Uh, after I had these uh, songs recorded, um, I, I pulled out a song that I had written probably three or four years ago. I'd written the lyrics for a song called Christmas in Vancouver, uh, but I've never had music for it. So what I did was I, uh, I, I got my good friend and um, a part-time uh, keyboard player who plays with my band, to, uh, Marty Steele, to come over and uh, we kind of collaborated and he basically wrote the music for the song. Mm -hmm. So um, we realized that we had what we thought was a very good song and we went into the studio, Rick uh, Salt's uh, Studio Mountain Recording in Nanaimo with uh, Marty Steele on keyboards. Um, uh, Marisha Devwen on uh, bass, wonderful bass player, uh, Larry Miller on saxophone, and James McRae on drums. And then uh, I, I recruited um, or, or asked um, uh, Elise Boulanger to sing with me, and we sang it as a duet. Mm -hmm. Wonderful musicians. Such Thank a you. wonderful array of talented, gifted musicians. So you put this together and you did something special with those musicians. Tell us what happened. Well, we we got in the studio and um, and, and everything came together really well. And of course, you, you kind of create as you go along. And then we uh, once we were finished, um, uh, we realized the potential of the song. And so um, I got my uh, my good friend uh, Bob Orr to uh, to help me do a, a video. We used a green screen and uh, uh, Lisa and I sang the duet and we had, you know, some background pictures of uh, Vancouver and it came out uh, all quite Christmassy. So we got a nice video for it. Well, Christmas is about tradition and you have a special tradition um, with your Christmas bells. Do you just want to, uh, we're going to show that picture. Tell us yeah. about those bells and, and the meaning they have for you. Okay, so my, my mom, my dear mom is uh, 98 years old and she remembers when, uh, when she was a little girl and uh, they used to have a, what they called a cutter, a horse drawn cutter. And uh, they, they would, you know, like go to um, church on Sunday or, you know, go through, uh, go through the snow, going to school. And uh, these bells were on, on the cutter. And so she saved them all this time and she, and she gave them to me. I'm just going to hold them up here so you can see. 
and, and um, they make this sound. So we, we recorded a version of Jingle Bells and used the bells on them. That's fantastic, Glenn. Well, we're at the end of our, our little chat here. Uh, it's gone by really quickly. Um, but I want to uh, encourage everyone to get out and um, support the album. Where can they purchase your album? Uh, well, you can get it online, and you just go to my website, which is simply uh, glennfoster.ca, or in uh, Nanaimo, you go downtown on Commercial Street to find Fascinating Rhythm. Talk to uh, Steve and Dave in there, and they have both the, uh, the new album on CD and the 45 record from 35 years ago on red vinyl. Fantastic, Glenn. Well, and what's your Christmas wish for this year, just to wrap up? Uh, my, my ongoing Christmas wish is just always peace on earth. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. A wonderful closing wish, uh, Glenn. Thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, we're Thank going you. to have a wonderful Christmas this year. Everyone, I hope, will spend time with loved ones and family and friends and really get into the spirit of what it's all about this year. Thanks so much for joining us, Glenn. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Bye, Glenn. Thanks, Carolee. Bye-bye. Bye now.